theory. The Maker is a Titan. Cut our tongues, entomb our bodies. Watch over the Titan until it stirs. The Chant of Light refers to the Maker as the Wellspring. The Wellspring of all in Andraste 1, and then again, the Wellspring of Creation in Silence 3. The Wellspring is the heart of a Titan that contains their actual beating heart. The Chant of Light in the Canticle of Andraste cites Lo, my eyes opened, shining before me, greater than mountains. We can't see the Titan because we're inside it. Titans shape the world of Thedas through their quakes. They are shapers, like Volta, and she connects to the Titan due to this. Andraste could have similarly connected to a Titan or the stone through a Titan, giving her the appearance of having magical abilities, hence where the speculation of her being a mage might have been born from. The Maker would shape the world in his image by quaking the world, the image being the stone and the earth itself. The Dosians are children of the stone, so are Titans. If the Maker is a Titan, the Maker would also be a child of the stone, which would put the stone as the higher deity than the Maker in this case. However, if the Maker is a Titan who influences and commands stone and beings, golems included, then it makes this passage from the Chant of Light in Exaltations 1 all the more intriguing. Portents of the Maker's Return Seven times seventy men of stone immense golems rose up from the earth like sleepers waking at the dawn, rose from the deep roads, crossing the land with strides immeasurable, and in the hollows of their footprints, shaping the earth like titans do, paradise was stamped indelible. But then, of course, what follows this passage gives clues to other theories of who the Maker could be, so there's no way to be sure for sure. As usual, like this video if you like it, subscribe to Bejimi Approved, and I'll see you all soon. Masaranas.